Hello everyone. In our previous videos, we have discussed about the modern periodic table and how the elements are arranged in modern periodic table. Now, in this video, let us know why lanthanoids and actinoids are placed separately at the bottom of the periodic table and what happens if they are inserted within the table. For this, we need to look into the periodic table and we need to compare with the periodic table which is inserted with the f-block elements in the main table. Now this is a modern periodic table with s, p, d and f-block elements where the f-block elements that is lanthanides and actinoids were kept separately. Here these lanthanides and actinoids are kept separately at the bottom whereas the s p and d block elements are placed together in the main table so what might be the reason for this why these lanthanides and actinoids are placed separately at the bottom before that just let, let us look into the periodic table and uh, if you go through the periodic table in any book we will be seeing the periodic table written in the landscape form because this is having more number of elements and inserting uh, and uh, representing and showing all these elements is somewhat difficult so therefore the, the whole periodic table will be drawn or represented in the landscape mode in the paper in the FO size paper but if these elements, if these, if these uh, f block elements are included according to their atomic numbers, what happens? Let us see. Here, I have tried to represent. I have inserted the f block elements along with the main, along with the main group elements, along with the other group elements. Here, you can see. It very it is very difficult for me to insert. See here, these are the F block elements which are inserted between the S and D block elements according to the atomic number. See, lanthanides starting from cerium to lutetium are after lanthanum, and the next actinides after actinium that is from thorium to laurentium so they are uh, inserted and they are uh, placed according to the increasing atomic numbers so this is how the periodic table looks if the f block elements are placed along with the other group elements so it is very difficult see can you see the elements can you see their uh, symbols so already i have taken a pin paper and i have uh, I have covered a whole space of the paper. There is no more space for me to write it with uh, big letters. That means it will be very difficult even in the landscape mode on any on any A4 size paper. So this is one of the reason for separating the for separating the F block elements and placing them at the bottom of the periodic table. And there are other reasons for separating the f block elements from the main group from the main uh, group elements so here coming to the reasons for that the periodic table becomes too lengthy as we have seen <coughs> it is very lengthy to write and it is very difficult to represent on a paper and next coming to the properties of lanthanides and actinides they are completely different to place them along the d block elements if you look at the d-block elements, you see we have inserted them between uh, 3D that is lanthanum, actinium and uh, the remaining d-block elements in between them. That means they should have uh, similarities in the properties. Actually, they don't have any similarities in the properties. Here, these f-block elements are mostly radioactive elements and the d-block elements are mostly metallic in nature. So, these are the reasons for which forces the scientists to place f-block elements separately at the periodic table.
i hope you have understood this under understood the reasons for this